Good morning, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's Friday, y'all. We made it to Friday. <laughs> hey, Michelle, yes, you get the BFF award today because Christine has not made it here. She is working, so <laughs> she might come in a little bit later. Um, and hey, Mickey, how are you? Hey, Lorianne Sugar Britches, thanks for popping in. I know that Michelle and Mickey, y'all are fixing to go on a thrifting trip, which I'm pretty um, jealous of, quite honestly, because not a lot of things are back open. They're starting to open back up today. Our mail ran yesterday. It was the first time since Saturday that mail has run. So uh, Monday, I think, was a holiday anyway, but um, yes, Tuesday and Wednesday, no mail ran at all. Hey, Miss Mary, thank you so much for coming today. Hey, Lana, um, today there is sunshine. Y'all, there is sunshine. I actually opened the door and Lovey's like, do, do you know that you left the door open? I'm like, look, it is a balmy 38. The high is going to be 41 today. Um, and so uh, we have sunshine. There's nothing wet on the roads at all. It's pure sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. So we are super excited about that. Um, the temperature is up today. Now the wind is still blowing a little bit here and there. Um, hey, Sonia, thanks for coming. But we are doing so much better. Uh, more and more citizens are getting their power back. Um, with that, unfortunately, comes busted water lines, but um, we are getting some people to be able to come in from other states and get temporary licensure for um, plumbing, to do plumbing work here. Mainly, they need to bring their own supplies because there are none um, Lowe's, Home Depot, our contracting places, all of that are completely out of um water supplies. So, but you know what? We are super excited that um, I think we have one more night tonight of cold below freezing. Um, it's supposed to be like 25 tonight. And I think that's supposed to be our last night of it. So we are doing well and I'm super excited. Um, and we did test StreamYard the other day. Um, hey, Mary from Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And the Frugal Magpie, thank you for coming. I think you're new to me, unless that's a new name, but thank you for coming um, today. Hey, Judy, nice to see you here. And hey, Beth, Dragonfly Attic. She's used to Illinois stuff, but she's in South Carolina now. And I'll tell you what, Beth, I've done hurricanes. And you know, it's cold. We get ice in South Carolina. We were talking about this on my live chat the other day. Um, but it's different. <laughs> it's just different. That's all I can say. Not only are we unprepared, but we actually don't have the materials available. Like you can't go out and buy. I mean, we have a coat section, but it's not like a South Carolina coat or an Indiana coat or a Kentucky coat section. It's like a hoodie. So most of us had hoodies and beanies with pajama pants and socks on. <laughs> Um, and so I haven't left the house. I left the house one time to drive up to the school um, and I parked in front so I could get internet and contact my family and let them know that we were doing well. So hi, Sabrina. Thank you for coming today. Um, and yes, thank you, Michelle, for um, reminding everyone to please give us a thumbs up. And here's Miss Dolores coming in from the UK. Um, Dolores sent me her picture for the thumbnail today and she is just gorgeous. So, um, I'm going to have to like fake a picture. I'm going to have to like use filters on, uh, Snapchat or something to get a picture that we can, I can put with it. Um, let me see. Did Christine come in? Let me see. I might've missed her if Christine came in. Oh yes, there's Christine. So nice of you to join us, Christine. I know that you're on your lunch break. Um, and hey, mama, my mama's here, y'all, Bella Rose. That's my mama. Um, you know, my mom, I'm, I'm over 30 and under 50. <laughs> 
moved by that much. And my mama's still clapping for me, y'all. So got to love mamas. Hey, Miss Sara Lee, thank you for coming. Miss Sara Lee is so sweet. She's been emailing to check on me. Um, and I really appreciate all of that. Hey, Miss Gritty Gret, listening while cleaning. Well, you know, I had all that time to clean because we had no cell service. We had no internet. We had no nothing. Did I clean? No. Did I organize my inventory? No. Um, nothing. But as soon as I got like cell service, not even internet, but as soon as I got a little bit of cell service and I felt like I could be reconnected to the world, I was moving and grooving. So I was excited about that. All right. Um, so we are continuing the sale that I started on Monday. Some of the items have already been claimed. It was just a few things. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six things had been claimed. I had originally about 30 items, so it will be a relatively shorter sale. I am going to show the items that did not sell, um, only because I don't know what y'all saw and what you didn't see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Hey, Miss Janice, thank you for coming. I'm going to go ahead and show everything. Now, I do have one, two, three, four. I think I have four or five offer ups, y'all. And the reason that I'm doing offer ups, I normally don't. Y'all know they make me nervous. I'm going to be honest. They make me really nervous. But the reason is, is because the like the resale of them is, you know, from way down here to way up there. And it's, I'm not comfortable with the way up there um, prices. So I'm kind of going to let y'all start kind of determine your own price at, in a group, like what, what y'all think it is fair pricing for it. So that's why I'm doing the offer ups. And I normally don't do that. Um, but I've got a couple of different things. I do have a nice piece of ephemera that I started showing um, and I think it got interrupted. So I am going to reshow that again. Um, yes, offer ups, Michelle. I know that y'all like it, but it makes me nervous. Um, so this is the way it works. Most of y'all have been in these cells a million times. But in the event that there is someone watching who has not um, put in the chat, or um, something that they are here, they're just watching, just want to let you know that this is a live sale. Um, I am going to show an item and it, this item will have a price that I will tell you and a number. If you would like to claim that, pro that item, you will type in the number. It does need to be the right number. I have very thick fingers. Um, so I sometimes get the numbers backwards or only one number or something. Um, but make sure it is the right number. The first person that I see on my end, and Michelle, if you are um, if you are available, I know you've got some stuff going on, but if you, you and Christine and um, some other people that are in the chat, if y'all can just help me make sure that when I refresh that I see the, for the right person, um, cause I don't, I don't like to make it anybody else's job to, uh, make sure and put, um, who won it. But the person that I see first on my end, when I refresh will be the person who gets the opportunity to claim that item. When you when the sale is over or you have to leave or you're finished um, purchasing for the day, if you will please send me an email, it is listed right here somewhere. Um, it is scprincess1 at comcast.net. And I have pinned, pinned this information in the chat. If you'll send me your first and last name, um, if you will send me your full mailing address, whether that be P.O. box or business address or residential address with the zip code, because like my zip code is different and it's across the street. So I have one zip code that ends in nine, eight and the people two houses down or across the street, three houses down have a seven, eight. So just make sure I get the right a zip code because I use pirate ship to to ship out um, it is a usps system and so when i start typing in the address it will auto populate that sometimes and i've had to go in and um, change it so that it matches what you've sent me um have saying about shipping um let me go back and finish what i was saying the first time i'm getting ahead of myself i'm sorry 
with that email with your full name and your full address you also need to tell me your paypal email um we do all transactions through paypal you will get an invoice you will get an invoice email to you that says these are the items that you bought it will be list each item individually with its individual cost then you will have one that says shipping and in that shipping is where the PayPal comes in. I make sure that your items are wrapped to the best of my ability so that they don't clink and bust um, around. And um, I put them all in one box. So it's combined shipping because I put them all in one box. And then I put in the weight and the measurements to the pirate ship. And it calculates based on your um, zip code and your mailing address what the price is. Typically, I go with priority simply because there is tracking with that and there is a little bit of insurance with that. So I will let you know that sometimes ground parcel three to eight days or two to eight days may be about 50 to 75 cents cheaper. But if I'm going to get the tracking and the insurance, I will use the um, priority mail. Um, and I don't use the um, flat rate unless it's cheaper than using the other piece of that. Uh, I did learn that a shoebox, regardless of where you send it, is really, really ex expensive. So let me try to catch up. Um, let's see. I think I have everybody. Yes, Janice, sometimes those lie. Now, we, we, we're not big time over here. So no, you do not need to pre-register. I've had a couple of people already send me their information from the first sale. And I do keep that in the event that you should purchase again. But you don't need um, to pre-register. We're, we're mom and pop over here. So we don't have 700 and 900 people trying to bid. Um, and I am okay trusting you guys that there are no false bidders. And that's the reason y'all that they're doing that. Um, unfortunately, people are making false accounts and running the price up, um, which is not fair to the rest of us that are watching. But in order to do that, they are asking people to pre-register. And that's why, that's why they're doing that. Um, Michelle says she is gonna let us know if she's first. So that's nice that she's taking care of herself during this sale. Hi, Time Traveler Antiques. Um, thank you so much for coming. And no, ma'am, no pre-register at all. And yes, make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. Thank you, Michelle. And I am shipping out of Houston, the um, southeast side of Houston. Um, and so right now, like I just mailed out somebody's stuff or printed somebody's shipping label for something. And at this time I did for her, I did not use the um, priority because priority is not going out. Priority for our area is not going to start being truly priority in two to three days until next week. So by the time this sale is over, um, I will have a couple of days to let the information come through and I will start packaging people's things and getting invoices sent out and over the weekend and hopefully by Monday and Tuesday when the priority is kicked back in place, then I will be able to um, mail those things out. But I said right when we started that we got mail for the first time yesterday since Saturday. Now, yes, Monday was a holiday, but Mon uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we did not get mail. Um, and it was late in the afternoon when the mail lady came through. So I was going to try to meet her out there to make sure that she got a little treat or at least some hot chocolate. But they have not been running that mail. Okay, let me see. Um, let me see what I missed. I said hi to Susical. I hope if not, hello, Susical and Time Travelers Antiques and Miss Gritty Grit. Um, right, Michelle. Um, I do not require, no, but you do need to have a PayPal. Now, if you don't have a PayPal, y'all just email me. Um, I have Venmo and some, and a, and a square and all that kind of stuff that we can work. Hey, Kim, thank you so much for being able to join me today. Um, I know Kim's been doing sales too, and, um, they've been going very well. All right. So I think that's everyone. We have 33 people in the chat and I am glad to have my friends come back with me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all, did I miss anything? I think you all know how all of this works. Um, 
yes, Susical Michelle Newton's cupboard is a little rascal. You're right. Hey, Miss Rose, glad you could make it. Thank you for coming. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and get started. If I miss something, you guys let me know. Um, and we will go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the first item is something that I showed the first time. And I'm simply doing it because y'all, I don't know what you saw and what you didn't saw. Um, if that's proper English at all, not, but okay. <laughs> um, Michelle, I do not have cash app. <laughs> Silly. All right. The first item, I picked this one because I love her little face and I said that before, but this little, um, this is, this lady is how I feel y'all. That's exactly how I feel. She is like, if ever I could just sit down and not have to do this. Um, but she has a great green color um, and she's got a basket of eggs right here and she's got a basket of ducks or geese right there. She's just a little bisque feeling um, figurine that is really cute. I found no markings on her. I did find some that are similar to her. They One lady had dark hair. Um, and then there was a gentleman. So they're out there, but um, there wasn't any specific maker or anything like that. I did remember a ruler this time and she is um, six inches tall. She is six inches tall and I picked her because she's got this green color. Um, I was thinking about using her for just some green decorations for St. Patrick's Day, but this little old lady with the eggs and the geese is eight dollars number eight eight dollars number eight hey miss amy and hey lori blue flamingo are y'all gonna get to go to the flea market in florida because i think that i just saw that um christine said that it's a torrential downfall a uh, downpour there right now so All right, making sure that I didn't miss anyone. Yes, what I saw and didn't saw, there, that's it. Wait, somebody said I have an accent. Did anybody else notice that? I didn't notice that. Okay, let me show you the swan vase and I think no flea market this weekend, sorry. Hey, second part of living, welcome back. I know that you've come um, before. Okay, so here's my swan planter, and this is the one that I think we did get to talk about. Kim, I was going to send this to her because she loves girly things and pink planters and swans um, for her mystery box, but she actually got one, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. She got some, um, she opened mine already, and she got some pink depression glass from me, but I love the detail in the feathering there. Um, just a little ceramic piece. It does have the gold um arounding that gold gilding all the flowers are intact there's no broken flowers in that really pretty no mark whatsoever so this swan vase is twelve dollars number twelve twelve dollars number twelve and i think you and michelle mickey are going to nashville um i'm kind of jealous about that i'm i'm lucky if i get to go to goodwill um, in a couple of weeks. I'm just going to let things kind of settle down a little bit. Okay. I see the frugal magpie for number 12. Thank you so much. And um, I'm sorry, I don't know your real name. You have probably put it in several chats because I've seen you in several chats, but um, I, I apologize. I don't know that. So if you would um, let me know, then I will make a note. I have a cheat sheet. And yes, it's written down because we have proven that technology doesn't work, y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, that is super cute. I know Kim loves that. All right. The next one that I have, I think I also showed this too, if I can reach it without breaking it. But because it's February, um, I have a precious moments. Now I know that um, D loves precious moments, but it is precious moments. As you can see right here, my mama said, stop shoving that stuff in y'all's face because she can't see it. <laughs> um, but it is Growing in Grace, and I just love that, Growing in Grace, but this is age two. Um, but you know what? I should have used this in my February tier tray. Y'all, that would have been so cute since it's the second month, even though, I mean, I don't have any babies, but 
or children. Um, but I would think that this would be so cute. She's got a little bird and some blocks, the number two there. The bird is not broken, the, her fingers, um, nothing is broken, her little ponytail. There's no chips or cracks in this whatsoever. Super cute. And now that I think about it, I actually should have used this in my tiered tray uh, display. So I missed that boat, y'all. All right. Hey, Angela, I hope things are going well over there and your mom is doing good. Um, thanks for coming by. My Precious Moments um, Growing in Grace, age two, is $8, number 42. $8, number 42. And gosh, I, it would have been perfect for a tiered tray. I guess I, I missed that. Maybe, maybe I'll find something else or get to use it for something else. Okay. And this one that I'm going to show, I actually showed on Patrick's channel when we had our sale um, almost a week ago on Thursday. But I had it actually, y'all, I have to apologize because I had it marked one thing. And on my paper, I had it another thing. And I don't, I don't know why that happened. Um, thank you, Sue, Miss Golombeski, for coming by. I was practicing her name. I think Patrick was saying her name the other day. And I was like, I've got to learn to pronounce that. But um, is they, now Michelle and I have gone round and round. But this is a cornucopia vase. It is a pink mauve color. Um, I think it would be beautiful at Easter time, um, either on a pedestal tray or just like on, as a centerpiece. It's not super large, but it is um, a good size. I'll give you all the measurements in just a second. But it does not have any maker's mark or anything on there. So Michelle at Newton's Cupboard was trying to help me figure out like who would have made it. There is one little place that did not get glazed. Um, but it is a, the original ceramic. It's not a, um, you can see that the pink glaze is kind of built up beside it. It just didn't run over it. But I think this is absolutely beautiful for Easter. Um, it is, what does that say, y'all? About five inches tall. The lip of it or the mouth of it is also about five inches. Um, and the length of it, is six inches. So it's pretty good. It's a beautiful vase. Um, and so this is $12 and it is number 52. It is the mysterical who made it vase. Michelle and I could not figure it out. Um, and we thought it was Shawnee too, Mickey, but we, but since it's not marked and I can't find it, of course, I'm not going to say that it is. Um, but that is $12 number 52. But I think that'll be beautiful. Put some flowers in there, but also some um, Easter eggs on picks to fill it up a little bit. Y'all, that will be so pretty. Um, Rose is watching while working. Well, I am sure uh, appreciative of that. And Rose, we've been out for a week. So I am sure when we get back on Monday that uh, it'll be everything that was due Monday plus everything that was due on Tuesday. So, okay. Um, all right. Thank you. It is gorgeous. Let me tell you, I got a, um, I got an Otagiri mug. Now y'all, I've been looking at Otagiri and they make some really cute stuff and it's different. It's like, there's a pottery piece, a ceramic type of piece. Um, I know Beth at, at Dragon Attic Fly just had a really cute Otagiri mug. I think that was you, right, Beth? Um, so this is, says spring to me, but it is Otagiri. It says it right there. It says Otagiri Japan. But look how beautiful this little mug is. Now, I only have one, but I love the gray stripes on it. And then it has the little, I'm going to try to get the glare off. But it has the little birdhouse with all of the greenery on there. And it's only on one side. Does have the gold rim. Um, there's no chips or cracks in any portion of this little mug. Um, but I thought this was pretty also as a planter, but um, I just think it is, it is really, that it was just really pretty. So this Otagiri birdhouse mug is $6 and it's number 77, $6 number 77. Yes, Beth says it is a little sheep mug. That's right. A little sheep mug. It was so cute. I love that. 
All right, Mickey, I see you for number 77, the mug. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Oh, Beth, you're working on listings. You know, that's part of the reason that I don't do online sales because even my marketplace, I am so lazy. I just don't, I just don't do it, y'all. I know. I'm just, it's just not something I want to do. All right, let's do our first offer up. Ephemera. This is the ephemera piece that I showed the other day. And I know that I watched, um, Oh, lots of interest in my Otagiri, but thank you for that. Um, I watched a little bit of Michelle's sale, sale on my sale <laughs> um, the other day, and she is getting ready for her drunk journaling classes, y'all. Um, and she was talking about some of the things that um, she would be using and some of that she put a list on her community tab of some of the things to be um, looking for in getting your stuff um, ready for the sale. So it is an offer up. How the offer ups work is I'm going to show it to you and then talk talk while I'm showing you some things. But um, this is a May 8th, 1964 Life magazine. It is a bigger magazine. It's actually, well, I broke my stick because I only like to do it in 12. So I'm going to say that this is about 13 inches long um, by 11 inches wide. So it is... It is a really big magazine, and it is a complete magazine. There are a there are a hundred and twenty nine, including well, there's one hundred and twenty eight pages. Did I see that right? One hundred and twenty eight pages, and then the front and back cover. But I picked this because it was President's Day when I did my sale, and so um, th let me give you a, a close up. So how the Offer up will work. I will put a starting price out there. If you are interested in this item, you will put the, we're going to go by price now instead of number. You will put the price in there by $1 increments. Um, and let me show you the back. And we'll let it run for a little bit and then we'll count it down. And if y'all will help me, we'll make sure that we do it free at free. Fair. I was looking at the, the fair. Um, these are sweepstakes, but it's a Coca-Cola sweepstakes. And I just thought that was so pretty. All right. So this is going to be um, an offer up and it's going to start at $12. So if you're interested in this piece of ephemera, put in $12. And then if somebody else is interested put they can bid by or they can offer one dollar increments above that but as we i see blue flamingo at 12 let me show you i'm gonna thumb through and hold it wide so y'all can see i love these tvs but the sad part is is i still have a big case tv all right let me flip through this oh it's got dogs in it all right let me show you some of the ephemera look at the avon y'all there's an Avon ad by Avon calling with new Father's Day gifts. How about that? And there's some distilled London dry gin. We'd have liked to have that right about now in the last couple of days. Jeez. <sighs> oh, look at the baby. And speaking of babies, did y'all see my new baby? Well, technically, he's my niece's baby. And I'll let her do all of the financial part of that and everything like that. But I'm still kissing them cheeks. Um, here is an instant sweepstakes ad, but I think it's for a cigarette company. All right. I see. Hey, hey the blue, um, blue flamingo is at 12. Uh, this is, and I see Thrift You. Hey, y'all. Thanks for coming. Um, I do see Thrift You is here. This is a 129 page piece of ephemera magazine. It is the May 8th, 1964. We have a um, $12 bid. If you are wanting to go to 13, you can. Look, this is how we all do laundry, right, y'all? We just get the children and everybody around. Heck no. Just either you do it or I do it. <laughs> Nobody else is doing it. Oh, yes, he is beautiful. Thank you. Um, let's see. They've got some great um, articles in here. 
I'm going to flip through. Look at these. This is a little shower and faucet thing. Still at $12. Thank you, Michelle, for letting me know that. And look at those swimsuits. Do you see them? Oh, it's Sam. Hey, Sam. Sam, are y'all frozen? Now, y'all are used to being frozen, but I'm, I'm not. I can't. I couldn't do it. Oh, I love these. Look at the ads. This is probably my favorite. Stop corn paying fast. And then there's another Coca-Cola ad in there. All right. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. 70 Ford Mustangs. Y'all, I love that little picture. They're in the wind. That's what I wanted to be. I know. We're look, still looking at the ads. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am going to flip through one more page. I like this one. And then I think, because um, I could sit here and look at this magazine, although I've already looked at it. Look at that house. Um, I've already looked at it two or three times. All right. We're so used to being frozen. I'm sorry you guys were going through this. We're, we are ready for it. Yeah, we're not. Oh, check out this one. Okay, and I'm done after this, y'all. Look at that. And that hairdo. That's sassy. All right. So I think we're at 12. And um, we are going to, are we at 12, Michelle? We'll call it at 12. That's how I look when I see Pi 2. All right. So um, I'm going to count down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's $12 to Blue Flamingo. Thank you, Lori. Hey, Auntie Kay. All right. That's the other thing is that that, um, that takes so long because I get sidetracked. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go on to the next piece. I have to find it. It's in here somewhere. This is a little, little Nippon dish. It is the white and gold one. And y'all, did I show y'all this? I don't remember. But it is Nippon. It has the mark for Nippon right back here. It is white and gold. It's just a little divided dish. And I thought it would be cute for your jewelry or candy. But this would look cute on a um, St. Patrick's Day display since it's got the gold in there. That would be cute. Put some little green hard candies in that. That would be so cute. Um, it is, it's about four and a half inches from here to here. And also four and a half inches from here to here. So this little gold um, Nippon divided dish is $9, number five. $9, number five for the Nippon dish. Yes, this is a fancy dish. Fancy. All right. Let's see. What's next? Oh, this is something I did not show you. I did not show y'all this. Um, and I'm super excited about this. It was one of the first things that I found. Um, Miss Frugal Magpie, I see you for, and you probably told me your name in the chat and I didn't get it. And I'm sorry. Somebody put it in big, bold letters with like rainbows or something, so I'll see it. Thank you so much for picking up that little in the pond dish. All right, so this is something that I picked up. It is a, oh, there's my inventory number on there. Y'all don't need that. It is a Detecto metal tissue box. Here's the label right here. It is hand painted, and here is the front. Is that not pretty? Look how pretty that is. Lynn, thank you. I got it, Lynn. 
All right. So this, um, and you put the, now I did try it. it. It's not one of those. It's not the, it does not use the big tissue boxes that we have at our house, but you slide the back off like this and you take the back all the way off and you put one of the thinner um, tissue boxes in there. And then it does have the places that you can hang that on the wall. Auntie Kay is saying 50s or 60s, she thinks. Thank y'all for bringing that to my attention. It is Lynn. Um, so this one um, I've looked up. It does say hand painted decorations, Detecto tissue holder guaranteed against rust. Well, y'all, I don't think they thought that through, but there's the paint is good. See on the back there. Um, they have is this says. Detecto Sales Incorporated, Brooklyn 5, New York. Actually, it says B um, apostrophe Clin 5, New York. A perfect gift printed in USA. Um, and so it is also stamped here, Detecto, as well. So this one is going to be $18, and it's number 33. $18, number 33. Toll painting, mom? Is that what you call this type of painting? I don't know anything about it. But I do know that it looks great in my office because the, the closet is actually pink. So it looked great in there. And Sabrina Simon. Thank you, Sabrina. Hello. I think I missed, um, I may have missed you. But thank you for picking that up. Thank you, Mama, for telling me that. I appreciate that. Oh, let me do this. I'm getting a little confused. Let me move the things over here so I can use my table a little bit. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show, I'm going to skip that one because I can't reach it. The next one that I'm going to show is um, because it was my February sale, I I found this one and it's, it has love on it. So I liked it. But I, when I looked it up, it's called a Moppets. Now, I think that that was a type of um, just like a group of little characters, if I'm not correct, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Oh, gosh. And I want to say that this is probably 75 um, M C M L X X V. I think that's 1975. Um, Fran Mar genuine porcelain Moppets, Japan. I need to cover my own face so it will show you. Um, but it is a cute little vase and it says on here, a flower is love. And look at her little dog. Her little dog is giving her a flower y'all. But I love the little detail right here. And I did see um, a couple of those. Um, and I, let me see how tall it is. Well, it helps if I do it the right way. Jeez, my knees, Millicay. It is about seven inches tall. So this um, vintage Moppets flower vase, uh, A Flower is Love, is $12, number 20. $12 number 20. Thank you, Christine, 1975. I think I've kind of figured it out a little bit. I think. Now, I've been a couple of, I've, I've messed up a couple of times, but um, the Moppets base is $12 number 20. Okay. And, oh, I know that somebody was looking for these. Hold on, I got to find them. I think they're in this piece. Everything got moved around when we had to move everything. Um, all of my little cat loving friends, my little kitty cat loving friends, um, you will like these. These are darling. And I think I even said that and it's on the, um, when I, when I showed them before. <clears throat> all right. So y'all look at these little kittens. Do you see how precious they are with their little blue eyes? Now they got a few, they're probably Tom cats kind of because they've been out prowling. They got a little, a couple of places where they've been um, bumped up against something, but here's the back. 
their ears and their tail and their feet, everything is good. Their little face, look at that little face. And they have these little whiskers. Are they not cute? And there's two of them. And they, this one has cold paint for like claws, but this one does not. Are they not so cute? They're not marked anything whatsoever, but see this one's got the cold paint on both the front and the back. Um, and they only stand about two inches tall and they're only about two inches. So they're, they're small, but for the pair of these little kitty cats, they are $8 number six. Oops, $8 number six for the kitty cats. Can y'all see that? $8 number six for the kitty cats. I think they are so cute. All right. Let's see what else. Let's do the, oh, this one. I'm going to do a doily. Oh, it's got, I thought it had a stain. I was about to freak out. It had a stain on it. No, it doesn't add a feather on it. Um, this is a almost 17 inch, but it's, I'm measuring it as 16 inch. And I may have showed this at Patrick's. I don't know y'all. Um, that it is the more of a cream color than an off white. I'll show you why I say that or a winter white, but it has a beautiful, um, stitching in it, crocheting in there or tatting as some people are calling it, but it has beautiful design. It is rather large. Um, again, it's about 16 or 17 um, inches. And I thought this would be pretty on any, any table, especially I use it a lot. These a lot for when I have a piece of furniture that's just been painted or I mean, it, it is curing, but it's not a hundred percent before I put things on it to stage. But this six, I'm calling it 16 out at uh, 16 ounce, 16 inch round crochet doily is $8. Number 54, $8. Number 54. No, Christine, they're making fun of me. They're making fun of me because y'all right before, I'm not going to lie, right before the cold snap, I was going to bring, which I thought, oh, it's just going to be chilly, right? And clearly I didn't watch the news, but I went to move my plant that was hanging, my hanging plant and put it in the, in the garage. And when I went to lift it, a bird flew out of it. He scared me. I scared them. But the bad part is I was actually using my phone to do a Marco Polo. So it was all caught on video. And Christine and Michelle, that's who the video was going to. So they actually saw it because I couldn't delete it. <laughs> so there you have it. All right, um, Miss Mary, you want the crochet doily for $8? So yeah, those are supposedly some new friends. Those are the kind of friends that you meet in this community. I'm just going to let y'all know right now. They're, they just want to make fun of you. Um, thank you, Miss Mary. Yeah, that they. I thought that was funny. And I tried to delete it, but I just didn't know how to delete it. Um, all right. Well, Michelle says it was hysterical. Well, it was hysterical. She did laugh. She actually recorded her video of her laughing at me, then report, then recorded another one to send me. It's like a voice. It's like a video text to say she wasn't laughing at me. That was a big fat lie. She was laughing at me. And I thought I, I was just thinking if this bird gets in this house and I cannot open these doors to get him out, I, we're going to have a problem. But it was just going to be... Uh, it was going to be a mess. Hey, Miss Terry, thank you for coming. So if you are not, if you are new to my channel or if you've been watching and haven't been subscribing, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I am really close at 478 and I will be announcing when I get to about um, 485 or 490. I can't remember what I decided. I think it's 485. I will be announcing my 500 subscriber giveaway. So I'd love to have you um, subscribed. Uh, yes, I'm anti-technology, anti-K, but they got me um, on there. And I, I I, don't even know, the video may still be on, 
be on there, but I can't can't worry about that. Y'all, they were just making fun of me left and right. All right, I have another offer up, and I think it's because I spaced them out the first time. Um, this offer up is going to start at $10. Now, I have seen these bowls anywhere from 12 on up, but because I cannot determine a mark on there, I want to say, I, I don't know, it, it looks like Westmoreland, but I, I'm not 100%. There is a mark. I just can't see it. Um, so it is a frosted uh, footed bowl, and I want to bring it up close so that you can see that the um, pieces are raised on the back, and it has beautiful roses on there. I don't see that it's a Fenton. Um, it might be a Westmoreland. I don't know, y'all. So I took a, a play out of the book of Sarah and Sam when they don't know. Here's the, the bottom. There is something embossed right here or stamped right here, but I don't know what it is. Also on the inside are those beautiful roses and they are raised as well. I, I don't know. I'm going to guess Westmoreland um is what i think i see but i could be totally wrong about that um hi mama's treasures all right thanks angela for stopping by so this is going to start at ten dollars so if you are interested in this bowl type in ten dollars i will tell you that all the way across the bowl is about seven and a half inches and seated on the table, it is two and a half inches. So all of the feet are there. Um, and so it is a beautiful bowl and I am starting it at $10. And Miss Janice is in $10. All right. Hey, Miss Martha, how are y'all? Do y'all have power and everything? You're good? So I see Janice at $10 for this bowl. And again, it does have the raised roses on the inside and the outside. Again, I don't know if it's Westmoreland or what it is. Um, so, all right. Good, Martha, I'm glad. So we're at $10. And so I'm going to go ahead and count it down, starting from five, Michelle. Um, and then we have $10 for Janice Stevens. And going down from five, four, three, two, one. And I see that it is Miss Janice for $10. And Miss Janice, if we can meet up, you don't even have to pay shipping. That'll be fun. I'm sure we can make it happen now that it's, um, thank you, Tina. Um, thank you for sending me your information. Guys, if you're just tuning in, I do not require that y'all um, register, but it always does help because if you have to get off or go back to work or do something else, then you will, um, I'll already have your information. It does help, but it is not a requirement. Um, all right. Let's see. Did I get everybody else? All right. Um, the next thing that I have is a cookbook. And you know, I love sweet treats. So it is a Better Homes and Gardens Treasury of Baking Recipes. And I may have shown this before. I can't remember if I showed it at Patrick's sale or not. But here is the Better Homes and Garden Treasury of Baking Recipes. It is a first, no, I don't, yes. It's a, it was out in 1978 and it says it's the first edition, the sixth printing. And this, this particular book was printed in 1980, but it does have, it has some pictures in it, but they're that brown color. It has a lot of recipes in there that are really good. I did like the lemon almond bars um, and the chocolate peanut crinkles. So basically, there is a 
recipe right here, like a basic dough recipe. And then these other recipes are saying, use this and then tweak it with these things. Um, and I mean, who doesn't like sweet treats? <gasps> oh, y'all stop. Oh my gosh. Look at those punk, sorry, the pumpkin frosting bars right there. Those look so good. Mmm, frosting. And cakes. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm just hungry. Yeah, me too, Frugal. <laughs> Lynn, I'm hungry too. Biscuits and muffins. And I think I told y'all once before I made biscuits one time. Mama, you remember when I made those biscuits and the dog rascals wouldn't even eat them because they were hard as a hockey puck? That was ridiculous. <laughs> Those could have been weapons. So this little um, Better Homes and Garden Treasury of Baking Recipes books is only $5. And it's number 29. $5 number 29. And I know that Michelle uses these recipes um, sometimes to as toppage package toppers banana split eclairs y'all eclair is hard to make there's a whole <laughs> thrift you i could eat uh pumpkin bars morning noon and night oh we have to get back into this so all right let's see it was five dollars number 29 blue flamingo miss Lori. i see you as um, get it picking the cookbook up. So thank you so much. All right. I'm going to move to a, um, I've been doing okay with the four seasons plates. Um, and I have a set that I think I showed at my very first sale with Patrick. Um, and they didn't sell, but I'm going to show them again. Um, and then I'll take them to the booth. Thank you, Lori, for picking that up. These are German. Um, and they are from, they are a yearly series, 1980, 1981. So in 1980, um, these, I can't speak German, <laughs> but I know by the picture that this is spring, but look at the little blue bird. They are hand painted plates. I did look them up. That y'all says spring. The spring. That's what I'm going to say that that says. This one is their 1980 plate. And I had talked about before, I think that Miss um, Debbie Vital, she got my other plates that were four seasons. And they are hand painted. You can see that. This is autumn. And look, look who's doing all the work, y'all. You see this? Who's doing all the work? What's he doing? Mm -hmm. How about that deal? He's already taken his shoes off. He's on a lunch break. All right. And this is 1981. But what I was saying when I had um, Linderhosen, is that from Rose from Golden Girls? Because she cracks me up with that. Um, I do not speak German, can't read German. But what I told them is I want like one piece of wood with a little T-bar um, piece of trim right here. And then I could change the seasons out for the plates. But this is autumn. I digress. That's what I would do with it. Oh, wait. Okay, so you German people in 1982, if that is, if that was autumn, what is this? Because if, is this autumn or is this autumn? Because I've got a spring and I've got a winter. I thought you picked apples in the fall. Maybe that other one is the summer. Hmm. Y'all tell me. I know that this is winter because I just live this. <laughs> The winter plate was the most recent. It was 1983. But again, it is hand painted. They did a great job hand painting them. Um, the plates themselves are, they are seven inch plates. Um, but again, I don't know if this is summer or, and this is autumn. I, I'm not really sure. Which one is summer? Y'all tell me is Apples summer or apples fall? That's all I need to know. 
apple summer or apple oh you harvest yes you harvest end of summer so this is summer well then i really feel bad for this lady because look at all these clothes she's got on she's hot this must be summer and this must be fall oh janice is saying apple summer they okay newton's cupboard is saying dare herbst is the autumn so we're gonna go we're gonna go winter this has turned into quite the lesson today spring i got that one summer and fall oh gosh now that we've all had a german and weather science lesson for the four seasons those german four seasons plates are twelve dollars number 62. i think we got it now uh, lynn says <laughs> twelve dollars number 62. they are super cute y'all i will say that all right well, Michelle should have, I should have talked to Michelle earlier. She's got all these um, German words. Okay. I have a little dog item. I did cats. So now I'm going to um, do some, uh, do a dog. This is a collie ashtray. It is transfer. It's on the back this way, but this is the little ashtray here. Michelle, you want the plates? Okay. So this little, thank you, Michelle. This little ashtray is about from the big longest tips to the longest tips. So from here to here, it's four inches. But look at that cute little collie face. She said she lived there and her oldest son lives there. Don was stationed there too. Oh, yeah, that's right. When they, they military. So my little collie ashtray is five dollars and it is number 31. The collie ashtray, five dollars, number 31. Oh, Miss uh, Martha saying for her, she'd have to Google it. All right. That was funny. Okay. I am going to do, I'm getting myself confused. Um, I think Michelle had the, at Newton's, uh, not Newton's covered, at, um, hey dad, that's my dad, y'all. Um, so I think Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living had the lid to this yesterday. Um, so this is a little anchor hawking. I think it's a um, fridge dish type of fridge dish, but it has the little ivy on the top. So let me show you the whole thing does come with, it's loud, comes with a lid. It is the ivy pattern there. It's just a little, I think it's a four by four. Yeah, it's a four by four. It has the lid, no cracks or chips or anything like that. You can see the anchor hawking um, mark through the bottom. It does not have um, scratches or wear on that at all. And so the Anchor Hawking Clear Ivy uh, Covered Dish is $8, and it is number 67. $8, number 67. All right. Yeah, and I think, um, I think Michelle at Comfy Cozy had that. We're going to have to put that lid on somewhere else. All right, Miss um, Lori, I see you for number 67, the anchor hawking dish, hawking dish. All right. Okay. I have um, a Holly Hobby plate. Got to find it. And I think I showed this to y'all last time, y'all, but I can't remember. This one is, I want to say it's 73. Um, Christine, Google this, MCMLXX111. I think that's 1973. I'm not sure. But this is Holly Hobby. 
There's the mark there. This is the little six inch plate, six, six and a half inch plate. And it says, happy is the home. I can't read that. That welcomes a friend. And she's got some little cats with her. Happy is the home that welcomes a friend. Um, and so, oh, it is MC. I don't know what it is, Christine. MCMLXX111. It is made in Japan. It is only for um, decoration. But I think that's 1973 Holly Hobby Plate. So the Holly Hobby Plate is $8. And it's number 36. Oh, okay. Blue Flamingo, you do not use plastic containers. I use any containers. <laughs> Yes. So it is 73, Miss Lynn. Did I say number 73? It's number 36. $8 number 36 in case I called it 73. But I think it is, um, I think it is 1973. All right. Okay. Let me see what else. I'm going to do another offer up. I have two more, so I want to kind of get those out of the way. Thank you, Christine. This one, people have been seeing it. This is one of the first things that I picked up, y'all, and it is um, going to start at $12. Um, it is going to start at $12. Let me take my inventory. It is a uh, hobbyist piece, I believe, and it was done by KP in 77, if you can see it right there. KP 77, and it is going to start at $12. So if you want to bid on this, it is $12 or offer this. This is $12. This is a little covered dish with the cutest mouse. Let me show you what the whole thing looks like. Now there is crazing on this. It is actual natural crazing on that. I'll show that to you, but look at this little mouse face. He is not broken anywhere. I think he's actually holding cheese if I see that right. But if I get up close, y'all can see the crazing, right? See that crazing? But he is so cute. Um, no chips or anything on the rim of that. The dome is actually just the, the actual piece like this is a little over two and a half inches, almost three inches. And then it has the plate with it as well. But he is super cute. And there is crazing on the plate. You can see it. We're at $12 for Miss Janice. It is seven, almost eight inch plate, seven and three quarter inch plate. Um, and he, it is just cute as it can be. Susical is at 14. And to the top of the mouse, I gotta do it the right way, Beth Randall. To the top of the mouse, the whole dish is about five and a half. Vintage Roots Collection is at 16. Janice is at 17. Now he does have the crazing on it on there, as you can see. But look at that face with that, with those eyelashes. Y'all see her eyelashes? Oh my gosh. And her little yellow britches. And you can see the crazing all through that. Susical is out. That's good. Side Street Market is at 20. He, it, it is adorable. There are no chips or cracks in the plate whatsoever. It is a hobbyist piece. Yes, the crazing is what makes it. Now, I don't know. I probably wouldn't put cheese in there. I'd probably put candy. <laughs> candy in there. Janice, I see you at 21. If you are out, no worries. Thank you. Um, just make sure you let us know that you are out. But I, I just love that. And the little mouse ears, there's some little white, white or pink coloring there. Look at our little face. And I can't, it doesn't say a word there, but it looks like, um, but I think they did good painting the little details on the face. 
Again, here's the bottom. All right, I see uh, Janice is at 21. Side Street is out. Vintage Roots is out. Personal Cheesecake. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. That's like the best idea ever. I would put the candy peeps in there. Yes, I'd put any candy in there. But I, I like candy. So right now it is at $21 with Janice Stevens. I think it's just darling. Even if you had it sitting to the side and used it for like a party. Mary Cox is at 22. Thank you, Mary. If you had the little plate here, which I think would be darling in the summer to just use the plate. It's got those beautiful um, colors in there. So if you could put a little bit of fruit or some goodies or something on there, even like if it held a salt and pepper and maybe some um, of those little jars with the vinegar and all of that, that would be pretty. But I do like the little lid. Ode to cheese. Yes. I have Janice Stevens at 23. <laughs> Miss Janice likes her little mouse, I see. Hey, Jen K. Generation Junkie. That's fun. Mary Cox is at 24. Y'all, he it is really cute. And um, so again, I think I told y'all it's a hand piece 77 is what I read right there. KP 77. Cheese ball, yes. But I think I think it's it's pretty for anything. All right, so where are we? Um, Miss Janice was at 23 and Miss Mary was at 24. Are we ready to count down? Janice is at 25. Um, Mary, do you want me to weigh it so that you know how much it, it weighs? Because I can do that real quick and let you know how much the weight of it is. Mary Cox is out. So we are at Miss Stevens at 25. Miss Janice is at 25. Are we ready to count down? All right, let's count down from five. So, um, Mary is in Texas too. Oh, Mary, you we could need to meet up, sister, when we're not frozen. I think we're not going to be frozen much long. So it stands at 25 at Miss Stevens, Miss Janice Stevens. I'm I'm looking forward to um getting to thrift with y'all. I know that if you are in Texas, please let Miss Martha at Vintage Conversation know. I think she's a um moderator operator for that uh Instagram group in Texas because we've got some meetups. All right, let's go down from five, four, three, two, one, and it's $25 to Miss Janice. Thank you, Miss Janice. That was fun. I'm sweating, but that was fun. Whew, they make me nervous. All right. So it is $25 to Miss Janice. Okay. Thank you. All right. That was fun. Kind of. I only have one more um, offer up, and I'm going to do that towards the back. Let me show you a little bobby pin or a... Um, safety pin type of dish. It's got some beautiful flowers on it. Um, it is going to be $5. Here's the lid to it. And it's got all the way around. It does have a made in Japan sticker on the bottom. No chips or cracks. It is just darling. It is $5. And it is number 46. Five dollars, number 46. Oh, she's buying it for her daughter. 
And yes, they, they need a break. <laughs> They've all been so sick. So $5, a number 46 for the safety pin or bobby pin um, container, little trinket box with flowers. All right. Okay. And Jen K, I see you for number 46. Thank you. Jen K, you um that you updated your name, right? You're the same Jen K that's been with me for a while. <laughs> hey Judy, thanks for coming in. Okay, the next one is a little vintage. They're calling it a vintage spoon rest, but I think we had some discussion. Um, I think it was either Miss Mary or Miss Sarah Lee had asked me about this piece. Um, I need a sweet treat. I do need a sweet treat. I have coffee, but I'm hot now because we did the offer up. Okay, so this is the vintage spoon rest. I absolutely love the details in that. It is not marked in any way, shape, fashion, or form. It's a little mold. Um, I'm going to say that, I think I looked at this before, it, it does appear to be hand painted because I can see the strokes and the clumps of the like clumps of paint versus it being smooth for a um, transfer. But we talked about not using it for that. I actually use it and put things like a caddy. I use it for pens and pencils. That's what I was using it for um, at the booth. I had some business cards and things like that in there before I brought it back. And then somebody asked me about check trying it for the glasses as a glasses holder. Now I will say that it, they do sit down in there. They don't sit flush down in there um, that, that well, but they do those. Re now those are readers before I got my progressives. Um, so they do fit down there in there as well. I do think they are for the regular, not the long stirring teaspoons, but for the regular like dessert spoons or regular um, what do you call those? They're just regular spoons, y'all. So from the end of the handle to the end of the handle, it is eight and a half inches. And it is only about two inches tall. It is $9, number 19. $9, number 19. All right. And again, I thought maybe like a recipe holder, a recipe card holder, that would be cute. Or maybe, I don't know, Christine, if it's um, the teaspoon as in the size of the teaspoon, but not the stirring spoon. Um, but yeah. Uh, Miss Sabrina, I see you for the um, vintage spoon rest, number 19. Sabrina, thank you so much. All right. Mm. Oh, you know what? I lied. I have two more offer ups. Let's do one and get them, get that one out of the way. Um, the, neither one of these have been shown. They were not shown you shown at the other um, sale. This is a heart. It, it does not glow. So let's just get out of our feelings right now. It does not glow. I thought it glowed. It does not glow. I was crushed, but I still love it. But it is a green depression glass uh, heart-shaped vase, and it does have a metal flower frog on the top. And it is, you can screw that off. There are no breaks in that whatsoever. Uh, no real big rusting. Um, I don't see any rusting in that, as a matter of fact. No breaks in there. It says um, ASP 2004 on the bottom is the number that's on the bottom. Now, I don't know if that is like true depression glass or if it's a 2004, I wouldn't think so. But um, you can see that that's what it has right there. But I thought this was so pretty. Um, so I am going to start this at um, $12. This heart-shaped um, green glass vase is starting at $12. So if you're interested in that, 
please put um, 12 in the chat. It does have the metal type of flower frog at the top. So we're starting at $12. It is to the top is six inches and then seven inches. So to here, from here to here is six inches and then it's another inch for the top of that. I see blue flamingo at 12 and across the heart, across the heart looks to be five and a half. So from here to here is five and a half. You can inches. You can see that it's got some little detail in there. I thought that it was just cute. Take us from Valentine's Day straight into St. Patrick's Day. Um, again, there's the top of this. I have um, Jen K at 15. There's no chips or cracks in this whatsoever. It, it does have the date of 2015 on there. Um, no breaks in the flower frog there at all. I have blue flamingo at 16. But I thought it was cute. I don't know what, it looks like that copyright ASP 2004. Um, I didn't, I saw a couple of those. Now, some people call it green depression glass. Some people just call it green glass. I wouldn't think, I mean, it has to be in like the depression era, right? To be depression glass. Um, I see Miss Blue Flamingo is out and Jen K is at 18. And now Miss Sabrina is at 19. Oh, with floppy roses in that. Yes, Christine, that would be um, so pretty. I like it. I got this at a antique emporium where my booth is. So Miss Martha, that's where this came from. It was hidden behind some stuff. And I've always noticed if she keeps putting things on the shelves, but she kind of puts them and then other things get put in the back. Um, then, and so I dig way in the back um, for these things, but I really like it. It does screw on very nicely on and off. I have Jen K at 21. Hey, Christy, Tippy Wings Vintage, are y'all warm now? Because, you know, Coco, Miss Coco, she can't, we can't be having Mother Nature mess with Miss Coco. That is a no-no for Miss Coco. Mm -mm. Yes, um, I haven't even been. I've got some things that I've picked up. I've been shopping virtually through them. So, okay, uh, where are we? I have Jen K at 21, Sabrina Simon at 22. And um, Christy, I'm so glad to see y'all. Jen K is at 23. Oh, you're warm and toasty now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And y'all, make sure that uh, you mark your calendars for March the 6th, that first Saturday at 11, I think, Dolores. 11 Texas time, 12 Eastern time. Um, we are at Jen K for 23. Is everyone else out? Because I'm going to be doing a chit chat live with Miss Dolores from the UK. Y'all, I'm going international. This is just too much. I'm international. I'm so excited. She's a, actually a Houston girl. So um, we're going to find out how she got way over yonder across that pond. That's a big old pond. Hi, Perfecting Pearls. Okay, so Jen K is at 23. Um, and so I am going to do a countdown. Let's do a countdown, Michelle. We're at $23 for Miss Jen K. And it is five, four, three, two, one. Jen K for $23 is what I have. All right. Thank you, Miss Jen. Put that with your other stuff. Okie dokie. All right, just a few more things, y'all. Actually, um, only like four more things. Um, and thank you so much for coming back to finish my sale. Um, I don't. I'll tell on myself and tell you that um, I struggle with change <laughs> and um, especially inconvenience change, but I'm working on that. But I don't really do well when you 
move my cheese, you know? So thank you so much. Um, don't leave though, because I have a trivia, a trivia prize because I was going to do it on president's day and I'm still going to do it because that's what was in my mind. Um, I'm going to reshow these last couple of things. And Patrick gave me a really good idea about the baby planters for Easter. This would be so cute. Um, paired with a little bunny, maybe with put some, um, material in here and a few baby chicks with a bunny. And I know Michelle's you're having a bunny sale coming up, right? Um, but y'all, how cute would that be with like some baby chicks in there and some bunnies around that? That would be darling. And I know that Miss Martha told me about this Nancy Pooh, P-E-W, um, that made these. She designed all these uh, Japan um, baby planters. I did pick them up just because I'm a sucker for the colors on those. Um, and I love the thinness of that, but I just think making this, and Patrick gave me that idea about using it for Easter. I would think that is darling. So I'm only asking $5 for this little crib planter and it's number 56, but I think it would be so cute with the peeps, little baby chicks and a bunnies around that. That would be darling. I mean, you could use it for a planter if you want, but there you have it. Um, so I, I like that. I, and I have two more. And now, um, now that I have a baby, <laughs> I might just take one over to his house if I ever get to Austin. Because if ever they thaw out, and that's where they are, y'all. They were in Austin. They don't have water right now, but they do have power. So, uh, and my sister-in-law is down there helping. I think more hugging than helping, but I'm just going to say. All right. Let me show you the um, doily. This is another doily. This one is 30 inches oblong. Um, and I, sh I may have shown this before, y'all. I can't remember. But this is how long this is. It is 30 inches. It has a great design on it. This is more like a warm, what I call warm white. It's not got as much yellow tone. It's more of the beige tones in there um but i really think that this is absolutely a beautiful stitch and it is really long so i i think maybe what miss martha maybe a dresser scarf or something um more so than what we would just call a doily i just think this is beautiful um and so it is twelve dollars and it's number 64. twelve dollars number 64 for the 30 inch oblong crochet doily you could line it with vintage fabric and make a carpet bag. Oh, Sarah Lee. You're talking like this? Like make it like this and stitch it up? Or put the carpet on, I mean, put the fabric on the back side. Is this what you're talking about? Bye. Thank you, Susical, for coming. Let me know more about that. Because, you know, I like to craft up some stuff. Uh, same stitch as the one that you bought. Let me see, Miss. I will say that this is softer than this. So let's look. This is the one you bought, Miss Mary. And this is the stitch on this other one. So let me lay it out and look. It appears to be the same pattern. Yes, ma'am. It appears to be the same pattern. See, there's this on this end. And there's this on the one that you bought. It's got the longer pieces here. And then it's just shorter, same design there. Looks like the same to me. Yes, ma'am. This one is $12 and it is number 64. All right. With recycled leather handles. Oh, Sarah Lee, we're going to have to, to see something like that. That would be so fun. All right. Um, all right, Miss Mary, you want that one too to go with it? Will do. Number 64 goes to Miss Mary. All right. Okay. Um, so I have two more things. We will do, we will do the the reshow of something, and then I'll do an offer up as the last one. And if we want to show anything else, I will stay um, 
I remember getting those little planters when I had my babies and I used them in my nursery. I always thought I should have saved them for each baby. Oh, Mary, that's so sweet. I think they're darling for, um, you know, to put even anything in, but I love Patrick's idea. So let's do the thing that I'm going to reshow. She said she's made a couple. Sarah Lee, I'd love to see those. Post it on Instagram if you have Instagram or Facebook and let us know which one, where you're going to post those. Um, okay, so this is going to be a set of two. It's the soup chili bowls that I showed last time, but they're $8 for the set of two. This one says, yes, I'm perfect. And this one is my favorite. It says, I don't have to be social. I don't know why that tickles me every single time. Um, she calls them city satchels. Oh, fun. I can't wait to see that. But y'all, this, this, this tickles me every single time because every cat I've ever had or known literally wants your undivided attention and then they turn their back on you. So these are going to be $8 um, for both bowls. And I think they do say they're dishwasher safe. Um, so they're not vintage. They were just fun. But they're $8, number 23, for both of the cat soup bowls. Oh, it's every cat, Jen K, not just yours. I mean, they want your undivided attention, and then they just turn your turn themselves. Okay. Uh, Sarah Lee, she, she sent me um, my inst her Instagram with her notes. So I will post that on there. All right. Um, Blue Flamingo. Yes, I know Carrie's a cat mom too. So um, that was fun. I, it's just they're, they're a mess. Two cat balls go to Lori, a blue flamingo. Thank you, Lori. All right, here's the last offer up. The I'm um, only social, I live in live sales. Yeah, Terry, everybody kind of feels like that because while I'm allowed to go to work, um, I'm really not supposed to go many other places. So when I do, it's masked up and everything else so that um, I can try to stay as safe as possible. So it's an offer up. Yes, ma'am, it is. Now let me take my um, blue tape that has my, my painter's tape off of it. This is a little bit of a mid-century modern vibe. Um, it's going to start at $12. $12. Um, and I will tell you up front, there is one little piece that is a chip on the inside. But let me show it to you first. It is a planter with a beautiful, like grayish, it's, it's like a pink mauve, but it has got that grayish, almost metallic is how it comes across a little bit, um, marbling on there. Uh, it is, says Lane and Company, Van Nuys, California. Am I saying that right? 1957. Um, let me show you that in the inside, it does have, where can y'all see it? A metal flower frog. It has a round metal flower frog that is in the bottom. There you go. And the, the piece that is chipped on it is on the inside piece right here. Can y'all see that? There's a little piece of the glazing that's missed on that. This is starting at $12. And from the long end to the long end is, so from here to here is seven and a half inches. It stands three inches tall. Um, but it, I mean, 1957, I just picked it up because I thought that was interesting. But there's our metal flower frog. Now I'm not going to try to get that out. I don't know what they used back then, but it reminded me of the Gorilla Glue that that poor child put in her head. Can you imagine? <laughs> and bless her heart, she had to get her hair surgically removed. Mm. But let me show you the inside. It still does have the marbling on the inside as well. I think it looks beautiful with this. It's the same glaze. So um, it's almost the same exact color. So this was in California. So this may be California pottery as well. But this is at, uh, where are we? We are at $13 for uh, Miss Mary for the planter. Uh, let me make y'all nauseous. Lane and Company, Van Nuys, California, 1957. 
and it says P-47. So I don't know. Let me just show you all the marbling on there. Side Street Market is at 15. Miss Mary is back at 16. So I just love that. I think it's, it's just a great, and it, it does have a little bit. So when I turn it just right in the light, y'all, it almost has a gold metallic look to it. Otherwise, it's like a grayish color. Side Street Market is out. Maria California Thrifter with the sniper at 20. <laughs> Where have you been, Miss Maria? you just been laying low, huh? Good to see you today. I'm glad to see Miss Maria today. She has live sales too, y'all. And um, I was watching her live sales. She had some kids helping her. You were babysitting or something the, the last couple of times. Um, and she had her kids helping her. So it's nice to have help when you do this. Miss Mary is at 21. Mid-century California goodness is what Lynn is saying. I'm going to go live and open some purchases this afternoon. What time um, is, is it Julia or Julie for Perfecting Pearls? Um, let us know what time that you're going to open some packages. All right. I have Miss Mary at 21. $21 for Miss Mary for the pink mid-century planter with the metal flower frog. All right. Are we ready to count down, Michelle? We will count down from five, four, three, two, one. And I have Miss Mary for $21. Thank you, Mary. All right. And thinking in about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. So before I'm going to do, um, thank you so much for all of you who have come. I have a few things that I am going to reshow because I've had some people come in. But before, if there's somebody that needs to leave, I want to do a um, President's Day prize. So here is, should I show the prize first? I think I, I talked to Michelle about this. Not Michelle, but Christine. Should I show the prize first or tell you the trivia piece first? It's kind of trivia. I guess it's trivia. What do y'all think? Prize first and then the then how to win it or how to win it and then the prize? Um, no, Michelle, you don't even know what the question is. I specifically kept it from y'all. Um, all right. I have trivia first and prize first. Now I have prize first, trivia first, first. I, I need some tiebreakers, y'all. Tell me what you want to do. Prize. What else? Michelle, um, Julia, y'all type prize, prize. Okay, I'll do prize because, all right, so here's the prize. It is jewelry. I'll tell you that. It is a brooch. I'll tell you that. It is a little white owl that has jewel eyes. And it has like a white luster. See his little jewel eyes, y'all? <laughs> Dolores. And it does have, now I'm not saying what the age is. I'll tell you that it does have the little, what I call the little round clasp. Is that the lobster clasp? All these jewelry experts. It does have a working lobster clasp. Um, I got this at Round Top. You remember Miss Martha, if you're still here? Hi, Robin. Um, and it is small. I'm not going to story to you. It's small. It's about an inch and a half long. But it is, so it would be small on um, your shirt. But it does have the white paint and it does have a luster to it. And it does have the little jeweled eyes. They're like a yellowish brown color. Um, so yes, the C class. Yes. 
So it is in working order. So here is the question. Are you ready? Get your thinking caps on. <clears throat> Who? Hold, please. It's going to be um, a President's Day question. Who was the ninth president? Go. Hey, Nate. This is for the owl. Not Monroe, not Lynn, um, not Jefferson, not Harrison. Oh, somebody, I lied. Robin, you're right. It is Harrison. It is the ninth president is William Henry Harrison. Um, he, it was in 1841. He is considered the one that is the least known. He was an American military officer and politician. He was the oldest to be elected at the time. He was the first to die in office on his 32nd birthday. So he had the shortest tenure in U.S. presidential history. So the answer is William Henry Harrison. And the first person, let me um, refresh my screen. The first person I see with... Harrison is Robin Summers. Is that what you see, Michelle? Michelle was trying to play. <laughs> um, is that who everyone sees? I see Robin Summers as the winner. So Robin, congratulations. You win the little owl brooch. Um, and if you will send me my dad's response, the one after the eight. And now y'all know where I get it from. <laughs> um, my mom's probably going, oh, geez. Uh, Robin, if you will send me your information, uh, then I will get this mailed out to you. So um, I'm so excited. So let that's all of the, the things that I needed to show. I'm going to show you some things that didn't sell, which is not many. So if you have to go, thank you so much for um, sticking with me and stay pretty and be sweet. And if you are just joining me, I'm going to quickly show you some things because I have had... Um, I have had some people join me that were not here before, um, and none of the things that's, that didn't sell were offer up, so I'm going to run through them. The 1973 Holly Hobby Happy is a Home that Welcomes a Friend, that was $8, number 36. Hey, my sweet Nate. Y'all, I drew Nate's um, name out of my gratitude jar in a video that just released. Um, all right. The next one, because Nate is so sweet, y'all. And his mom is sweet, too. The next is the pink cornucopia vase. That was $12, number 52. It actually is the same color as that marble vase. Um, but $12, number 52. And was that 52? Okay. Frugal Magpie, you want number 52, Lynn. Thank you. The Kali Ashtray. Michelle, what are you talking about? My sweet Nate, not no soul daddy. He is $5, number 31, for the little Kali ashtray. It's a little four by four. It is a transfer wear of a little Kali ashtray. She's so bad, y'all. Michelle is just bad. She is naughty. All right. Then my little old lady <laughs> who called me daddy, his mate says, he's a mess. Um, and then the little old lady with the eggs and the geese, perfect for spring, um, is $8, number eight. Dolores is saying that vase looks like Beswick. And I don't know anything about uh, Beswick. But I'll need to look that up. That's a new name for me. Put that in your Wisdom Wednesdays, Michelle Beswick. Um, so number eight. 
And then the Growing in Grace Year 2. Um, this is the little Precious Moments. I couldn't remember. It was $8, number 42. Did I? I did not, Michelle. Now I'm going to have to watch it. $8, number um, 42 for the Precious Moments Growing in Grace. The 1973 Japan um, Moppets vase was $12, number 20. $12, number 20 for the little Moppets vase. Look at her little face. And she has her little dog giving her a flower. It's British, she said. That's why, that's why we don't know anything about it. <laughs> $12, number 20. And the last thing that didn't sell today, I think, were the two kitties. The two little kittens um, were $8, number six. The two little kittens, $8, number six. Hi, Diane. All right. So those, that is all that I have. I want to check the calendar for Friday because my handwritten calendar that Lori Ann and them picked on me about Friday um, at three o'clock Eastern doggone, doggone vintage. They're having their sale. Crafty Jackie has one tonight at six. And then of course, I think Jeffrey is back followed by flipping and sipping y'all with um, the girls, Mary Beth and Laura. So um, let's see, is it Bessick or Beswick? Is it Bessick or Beswick? Soul Nate is asking me, uh, or he's actually asking um, Dolores. Oh, no sale for Jeffrey tonight. He's still vacationing. I know it's best best wick, but is it Bessick? Hey, Emancipation three hundred. Um, Bessick is what it's. So there's no W. Well, in the South, you put a letter in there, <laughs> and we need it. Okay, Bessick. Thank y'all for letting me know because education is is good. Um, thank you so much for coming, y'all. I really appreciate everybody being here. Make sure I have 46 people that are now currently in the chat. Um, and I don't, on my end, it says five thumbs up. I don't know how many. So if you could please give the video a thumbs up on the way out, I would appreciate it. Um, and if you are not subscribed, I welcome you to subscribe. As we're leaving, um, if you have any live events coming up, I know that um, Perfecting Pearls was going to go live to do an unboxing. Um, then in about, it was probably in just a few minutes. So make sure that you are, I have 42 thumbs up. Thank you so much, Robin, for telling me that. And congratulations for winning. So that's it for this time, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.